Hello everyone. I'm so glad to welcome you back to Mary's Little House in Centerville, of Centerville, Illinois. I'm so grateful. It's so beautiful outside. Remember that cluster of cottonwood seeds? The, the, they were like uh, a cotton itself, like, a, like the, the cotton that they grow to make our, our, the, our, our fabric cotton. Well, I, I, I threw it away or put it in the, the waste basket and I was recycling my waste, uh, my paper in the recycle bin and I found it. And I took it outside. It was real sunny this morning and I just let it go, all those seeds. And they just blew all over. The sun was shining and it just went all over. I just dream of God's word to preach from the, all the pulpits of the world preached by our Holy Father, which we'll hear from today, uh, uh, from his Wednesday audience last Wednesday. Uh, that, that like, like all these cotton, uh, they are cotton things, and inside the cotton uh, is, a, is a little teeny seed that will go all over the world to, to Siberia, to, to the Samoan Islands, uh, to, uh, to uh, the, the, uh, the Scandinavia, to everywhere in the world. And, and plant the seed of his word and, and may it fall on good hearts and noble hearts. There's so much good in the world. We see a lot of maybe uh, unfortunateness and all, and, and, but there's so much good. There's so much good people seeking the Lord. And so I just, oh, I thought like my YouTube too, if I can add to the voice of all the great preachers, all the evangelists uh, to, to, to spread the word of God. Paul says to preach in season and out of season, and that's what I want to do too in my little uh, uh, way of the, of the YouTube and, and the ministry of the internet. I'm so grateful. You are, you are wonderful. Uh, I saw this young woman. Uh, I, I've got it on my Facebook and Twitter and everything. This young woman, uh, she, she had this baby with no eyes and and everything and and everybody one person said you should have aborted and everything and she was afraid to be seen in public but then she she she, she put it on um, on on, um, on the internet and, and and the over 10 million people responded to her and if even more because that they had different uh, ways of responding to different blogs and things but 10 million and she was so elated by that so uh, encouraged that it was a courageous thing because she was holding the baby looking this way all through and she was holding up cards telling the um, story of her little boy Christian and how and how she was so ashamed and so didn't know what to do and and at the end the most dramatic thing is that she turned the little baby around and he was smiling and everything and and he's so beautiful and even though he didn't have any eyes and and had other problems. She was such a proud mommy. Happy Mother's Day. I sit it out for Mother's Day. You mommies love us unconditionally, no matter if we, whatever we do or anything, you love us. You love us no matter what. You are just such a sign of God's unconditional, uh, non judgmental, uh, uh, tender love for us. So, anyway, I. I, 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 that went to 10 million people and they responded and encouraged it. I even got a comment on edgewise of the, among the 10 million people. But anyway, I, I, I want this YouTube and these YouTubes to be, to, to, to be like those, uh, cotton, cottony little seeds of the, of the, of the cottonwood seeds to go all over the world. God, uh, God bless you for listening. And if you see any good in this, you be an apostle too, uh, uh, to, to send it and share it with your family and friends too. To, because we, we all have a, something to do in, in, in the church uh, to spread the good news of the gospel that Jesus, God the Father so loved us to send us Jesus that we may not have, e that we may, those who believe have eternal life, John 3, 16. Uh, uh, and, and, and that Jesus died for us. I, I sent the newly graduate uh, 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 in his invitation, put a crucifix, a little crucifix, and said, keep your eyes on this. You'll, you'll, find, you'll find meaning. You'll find fulfillment. You'll find true success if you keep your eyes on Jesus, on his love for you shown in the crucifix. All your life, keep your eyes, hold that crucifix, keep your eyes on Jesus. 
Okay, I, I'm just so happy to be with you. I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I, I, I just humble by your watching. I, I watch every time I glance over to see the previous ones, how many views and everything. I give God praise for your views and 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 your feedback to some of your comments are so encouraging and and, and very kind. By the way, our, my, the pets, Mar Marigold the cat. And, uh, and and Peanut and, and before uh, Angel, they were getting a lot more comments than, than this, the, this poor guy right here. They were upstaging me, and I, I didn't have any jealousy. That's all right. Uh, after all, um, didn't God use, use the jaw of, 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 a, of, a, of, a, of a donkey uh, to, 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 to prophesy or something? Well, if they could use the jaw of a donkey, they could sure, God could sure use me. Anyway, I wanted just to share a part of the audience, the address that our Benedict XVI gave a few days ago on Wednesday. This is Friday. And it was, it's about the Holy Spirit. And he's talking in the context that he's, he's talking about prayer. He's doing a series on prayer. He's talking about St. Paul, how he viewed prayer, or how what we can learn from the letters of St. Paul. Uh, and and the, and there, so let me just have a prelude uh, of his words, and then 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 there's going to be three effects of the Holy Spirit helping us to pray, because our prayer is like oxygen, it, uh, it's, it's uh, like dialogue to a couple. We used to say it, we'd say say in marriage encounter, dialogue is to love as blood is to the body. You have to have dialogue. You have to live a living dialogue. You have to be assured that she loves you, that I, I, I call her up, and all those dialogue and work things out, not let things fester. You know, with God's grace and God's love, and, and we have nothing to fear. Okay, well, anyway, but so prayer is that. It's our air hole that the seal goes up to find, in the thick ice, it finds air to breathe and can go back in, in the depths of, underneath the, the glistening ice uh, of, of, of the Arctic. So it, it, it's, it's, it's so important. It's our oxygen, our spiritual oxygen um, mask, because we need prayer to, to, to strengthen our faith, to, 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 to keep our hope uh, 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 strong and, and, and to keep our heart, our, our love, a uh, uh, heart on fire with God. That's what prayer does. Okay, let me just read a few things. Very encouraging. This I love this. Uh, he says this. It is said, it is then, said the Pope, that we can only open ourselves up, make time available for God, knowing that this mere desire to get in touch with God is prayer that the Holy Spirit not only understands, but it brings, but it, but it brings and it, 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 it and interprets before God. Uh, but it, but it, but it brings. I, 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 I my, my uh, copies. Uh, it didn't. The margin was was crushed in there. But anyway, the point is, when we try to make time for God, the, the, what is it? Uh, when we try to make time available for God. Knowing that this mere desire, wanting to make time for God, this mere desire, listen people, you're not even praying yet, but you're desiring to make time for God, and I hope you make that up, your, that, that, that desire, the, the, this, the, the desire to get in touch with God, to make time, is, the, when you're trying to do that, is prayer that the Holy Spirit not only understands, but it brings it, it, uh, 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 before God. It, this is the prayer, already a prayer, your mere desire to make available time to be with God, to be with God, to get in touch with God. That's also a prayer. And what, where does it come from? From the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit's working you. It's for real people. It's not some, oh, I don't know, some, some, something in the air or something. It's a Holy Spirit, something that's, that's, that's not real. It's He's here. But my... You're just listening to this YouTube now, and maybe feeling that desire to pray more in your daily life is, is a prayer. It's a prayer itself uh, brought by the Holy Spirit. Okay, in prayer we experience more than in other dimensions of existence. What do we experience more than in other dimensions of existence? Here's what we experience more. Our weakness, our poverty, our being creatures, because we are faced with the omnipotence and transcendence of God, said Pope Benedict. So 
we, we get in touch with our littleness and our weakness and our creaturehood, but, but that's not the end of it. That's what's important because all prayer and all spiritual life is based on truth and, and humility. That's our, that's our foundation. Humility is truth, that we are only creatures, that we are weak and that we are little, but that doesn't make a difference for our growing in love with God. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's, uh, in prayer, uh, it is therefore the Holy Spirit who helps our inability, our, enlightens our minds, warms our hearts, guiding our turning to God. So, so it, 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 it's the Holy Spirit doing all that. The Pope concluded his observations by highlighting three, uh, uh, three consequences of allowing the Spirit of Christ as an inner principle to all our actions. That's what makes us tick, the Holy Spirit, the inner principle, the, 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 watch, uh, uh, the, the main watch uh, spring. Okay, the Holy Spirit. Uh, first, the first the consequence for, of, uh, of all, we are enabled to abandon and overcome every form of fear or slavery. Experiencing the true freedom of the children of God, nothing's going to uh, discourage us or uh, be, make us fearful because we're trusting in God. It, it, we're the children of God. We're, we're here to, to know, love, and serve Him and to be happy with Him now, not to live fearfully but, and forever in heaven, as, as our old Baltimore Catechism said. Okay, this freedom of the children of God is not identified by Paul as the possibility of choosing evil, which, which the Pope said leads to alienation of human beings and destruction of our freedom, that's sin, choosing evil. It just, uh, it just makes us so alone, alienation and destruction of our freedom, because we become enslaved in our very sin. Instead, the freedom, in, this freedom of the children of God, the freedom espoused by the, the apostle is a true freedom that allows us to follow our desire for good, not to be overwhelmed by the circumstances that lead us in other directions. It allows us to stay there for a desire for good, no matter how bad things are getting, we still choose the good. This freedom manifests itself in the fruits of the Holy of the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and control. That's that helps us to, 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 to our desire to choose good over all these distractions and everything. Okay, the second consequence, consequence is, uh, is this, is that our relationship with God becomes so deep that it is not to be impacted by any reality of our, our situation. Therefore, we are not free, freed from the trial of suffering, uh, from trial uh, our suffering, we're not freed from the, the troubles of life in our prayer, but we can live them in union with Christ his sufferings in union with his with Christ, his sufferings, with a view of participating in his glory in the resurrection. So all this has meaning then, because we're living in union with Christ, with his suffering, in in, in the uh, in, in the view of, particip of participating in his glory in his resurrection. And last, oh excuse me, the same. This should encourage us whenever we have. The impression of not being listened to, and then we risk losing heart and perseverance. As in reality, there is no human cry that is not heard by God. So when we have in problems, it will we that we will stay in there because we know that there's no cry that we cry out to God, God that that is not heard by God. God hears us, and we'll get through it. And the last one is the third and final outcome of reliance on the Holy Spirit is that the prayer of the believer is also open, this is beautiful, uh, to the dimensions of humanity and all creation. This prayer uh, uh, open to, uh, is open to the sharing, the, the sufferings of our time and others, that we join in the sufferings of our, our brothers and sisters all over, the sufferings of our time, the sufferings of our nation, the sufferings of creation uh, being so uh, hurt by the... Uh, by, by, by some of the things that are happening to it. So, so it's a prayer that gets us connected to the whole world. So, oh, so, so those three things, 
of, of, of the Holy Spirit, the, 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 the desire to, to, to be with God, to pray, that's in itself. And, and, and the, the second one, to stay on the good with the help of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, charity, love, peace, we will stay with it. And, 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 and the other one, in sol to make us in solidarity with the, the sufferings of everyone, of the world. And, and that, that just is so wonderful and so beautiful. God bless you.